Hello, everyone. Well, it is finally here. The last launch of the Delta IV. And with it, a final farewell to the entire Delta family of rockets. Delta is truly an incredible legacy that traces almost the entire history of our country's presence in space. The original Delta rocket, using a modified version of the Thor ballistic missile, first launched in May 1960, just three weeks before the Aerospace Corporation was founded. Over the course of more than 60 years and more than 300 launches, the Delta rockets have carried some of our nation's most groundbreaking and most important satellites in space. The original Delta and its many variants have carried some of the first communications and weather satellites to orbit like Echo, Explorer, Tyro spacecraft, as well as the first geostationary satellite, the SYNCOM-3. Delta II was developed in the aftermath of the Challenger tragedy with significant contributions by aerospace. It launched a generation of GPS satellites along with other national security, commercial, and civil spacecraft. This included NASA's Phoenix space probe sent to Mars to study the history of water on the planet and assess its habitability. The Delta IV, the grandest of them all, which had its first launch 22 years ago, was a key part of the modernization of our nation's launch capabilities through the Evolved Expendable Launch Vehicle Program. The first EELV launch carried a Defense Satellite Communications Systems payload, so-called DISCUS, into orbit. And in the ensuing decades, the Delta IV, along with the Delta IV Heavy configuration, the most powerful rocket of its day, carried some of our country's most exquisite and most important national security payloads to space. Most importantly, we did it all while upholding our commitment to 100% mission success for the Delta IV vehicles. Also, in my own personal opinion, the Delta IV is one of the most beautiful looking rockets ever built with those big liquid boosters at its side. But also, the scariest as you watch the flames running up high against the vehicle at liftoff. Truly terrifying. If this is the first time you're watching it, get some popcorn, you are in for a real treat. Throughout this remarkable history, aerospace and our people have been a trusted partner every step of the way. With Delta joining the Titan rocket in retirement, and with the Atlas V counting down its final missions, we are truly at the end of an era as we say goodbye to some of the greatest workhorses of our national space program. And as we do, we welcome and look forward to the next generation of vehicles. By taking the best of what we have learned from years working on the Delta IV and its brethren, we can carry forward the technical expertise and dedication to mission success that represents the best of aerospace in this new era. Before I go, I want to express my appreciation to the launch team for all their work and getting ready for this final mission. And I also want to congratulate all of you who have played a role in the success of the Delta IV rocket and its predecessors over the years. Thank you for your commitment to aerospace and to our mission. Go Delta IV as we bid you goodbye.